Claude AI just took a giant step forward with its ability to autonomously interact with external data. This opens doors to a whole new level of functionality. But what does this mean for you? Imagine an AI that can not only process information you provide, but actively look for and examine relevant data from the web. Let's explore the exciting possibilities and see how Claude AI can change the way you work. Claude AI tool uses an update in March. Anthropic, a leading company in the field of artificial intelligence, introduced a new series of AI models called the Claude 3 model family. This family includes three distinct models, Opus, Sonnet and Haiku. Each model is made for different tasks and shows Anthropic's advancements in AI technology. Claude 3 Opus is the most advanced and powerful model in the Claude 3 family. It is built to handle complex tasks that require deep thought and detailed analysis. Claude 3S is known for its ability to balance skill and speed. It is designed to be quick and efficient, making it ideal for situations where AI needs to interact with people smoothly and effectively. Meanwhile, Claude 3 Hue is Anthropic's fastest and most compact model. It is ideal for applications that need quick responses and efficient resource use. Now, the company has announced a new feature for its AI assistant Claude. This feature is called Tool Use and it is now available for general use. Tool Use allows Claude to independently interact with external data sources, APIs and various tools. This development is set to change how businesses operate by making their processes more efficient and effective. Tool use is designed to be easy to understand and adaptable, so it can work well for developers with different levels of experience and skills. The idea behind tool use is simple. Developers can set up a toolbox for a Claude virtual assistant and they can communicate their goals using everyday language. This method blends two important concepts. API integration, with which developers are already familiar, and natural language processing, which allows Claude to understand human-like instructions. This feature can be accessed through the Anthropic Messages API, Amazon Bedrock, and Google Vertex AI. The cost of using Claude depends on how much text Claude works with, which is measured in tokens. Just so, you know, 1,000 tokens are about 750 words. During the testing phase, most people chose the fastest and cheapest option from Anthropic called Haiku. This costs around 25 cents for every million tokens you put into Claude and 125 for every million tokens you get out of Claude. Early adopters such as StudyFetch, Intuned and Hire are already using a tool called Tool Use in their businesses. According to Diane Penn, the lead project at Anthropic, the company has been trying out the Claude tool since April with a few thousand customers. Anthropic prioritizes safety and privacy throughout the development of tool use. They closely examine each Claude model to prevent potential AI-related issues or attacks. Their approach enables them to detect and address problems before they escalate, while their strong safety mechanisms quickly stop any emerging problems in real time. How it works. Tool use operates by providing Claude with a set of tools and a user prompt. Claude looks at the tools and thinks about whether any of them can help with the question or task. Then Claude decides which tool or tools to use and what information to give them. If Claude realizes that an outside tool is necessary, the API response says so, then the code on the user's device runs the tool and gives Claude the answers. Tool use or function calling allows Claude to work independently. It can carry out a series of actions with these tools to achieve complex tasks that might need real-time information or calculations. For example, it helps get organized information from unstructured data, like pulling out names, dates and numbers from invoices so you don't have to type them in by hand. It can turn natural language requests into structured API calls to allow smooth communication between users and systems. This means that users can simply express their needs in plain language, such as 
cancel subscription and the system will understand and perform the necessary actions without requiring users to provide detailed directions. It can also answer questions by searching databases or using web APIs, enabling it to find relevant information and provide accurate responses to inquiries. Whether it's accessing internal databases, leveraging external web APIs, or scouring the internet for information, the system uses its resources to deliver fast and precise answers to user questions. This functionality is very useful in customer support chatbots, where timely and reliable assistance is crucial. When customers reach out for help or information, the system analyzes their queries, retrieves relevant data, and delivers accurate responses in real time, enhancing the overall customer experience and reducing resolution times. Tool use in extending Claude's capabilities. For teams seeking more control and flexibility in how Claude uses tools, tool use streaming can help. It allows you to create more engaging, human-like interactions by cutting down on both perceived and actual wait times for users. The process starts with Claude understanding the goal. This goal could range from simple requests like finding the current weather to more complex ones like summarizing a long article or solving intricate math problems. Once the objective is clear, Claude decides which tools are needed to accomplish it. This decision is similar to choosing a calculator for math or a search engine for finding information. Using the selected tools often means executing them in a specific order. Simple tasks might need just one tool, whereas complex tasks might require multiple tools used in a specific sequence. For example, deciding whether to take an umbrella might involve first using a weather tool to check the forecast and then employing a logic function to decide if rain in the forecast means an umbrella is necessary. Tool use is essential for handling complex tasks that can't be solved with a single tool. By leveraging multiple tools in a sequence, Claude can tackle tasks that involve several steps and types of data. Additionally, some tasks need real-time information, such as current events or stock prices, which Claude can obtain by calling the right tools. This method ensures accurate and efficient solutions, as specialized tools are often better suited for specific tasks. For instance, a dedicated translation tool provides more precise translations than manual efforts. Consider a real-life scenario where you ask Claude to help plan a road trip. Claude would start by using a mapping tool to plan the best route. Next, it would use a weather tool to check the forecast along the route. For accommodations, Claude would use a booking tool to find and reserve hotels. Finally, it might use a calculation tool to estimate the fuel cost. With the combination of these tools, Claude can provide a comprehensive road trip plan. Similarly, you can use forced tool use to teach Claude how to pick the right tool for different tasks. This includes deciding when to use a tool, always using one, or selecting a specific tool you specify. The vision tool works with images. You can tell Claude to follow a set format when handling images or use image inputs in a live assistant and chat app. This also allows for analyzing visual data. For instance, Anthropic mentioned that a virtual interior design consultant could use this tool to analyze room photos and offer personalized decorating advice. Tool use functionality for businesses. The tool use feature allows individuals and businesses to create various assistants or agents tailored to their needs. With the tool use feature, Claude can access and retrieve information from various external sources without human intervention. For example, if a business needs to pull data from a specific database or website, Claude can do this automatically. Businesses can rely on Claude to gather accurate and up-to-date information quickly. Businesses can benefit from this feature by having Claude fetch the latest market trends, weather updates or financial reports, thereby facilitating better decision-making processes. This saves time and reduces the potential for errors that can occur when humans handle data manually. Through the use of APIs, Claude can perform tasks such as updating records in a customer relationship management system, processing orders in an e-commerce platform, or retrieving data from financial services. 
This smooth interaction ensures that various business systems are synchronised and up to date. Another important aspect of tool use is its ability to utilise various tools to complete tasks. For instance, if a business uses a specific tool for scheduling meetings or managing projects, Claude can operate these tools to perform related tasks. This means businesses can automate many of their routine operations, freeing up employees to focus on more strategic activities. Additionally, Claude's ability to use external tools enhances its functionality, making it a versatile assistant for various industries. For example, in the healthcare sector, Claude could access medical databases to provide up-to-date information on treatments and medications. In the customer service industry, Claude could integrate with CRM tools to offer personalised and efficient support to clients. This level of autonomy and interactivity allows businesses to streamline their operations, reduce manual workload and increase overall efficiency. With this feature, even data that seemed useless or stuck in a corner can suddenly become valuable. It can sift through mountains of information and extract the gems hidden within. This means your business can now automate tasks that once required tedious manual labour. The fact that tool use is becoming widely available puts Anthropic in a leading position when it comes to offering powerful tools to businesses. As more companies start using this technology, the way we work will change. AI will start taking on more and more tasks on its own within digital systems. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.